primary goal of this project really is to make everybody safer. Our goal here is to make our transportation system as safe and efficient for, for drivers, for cyclists, pedestrians, emergency vehicle operators, transit operators as well. It's a new era in carry smart roads that can keep drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians safer. It shares information between drivers and traffic control devices to add an extra layer of awareness and improved safety at intersections. Well, I think it's of the utmost importance because when we're responding to calls and trying to get there in a timely fashion, you know, not only do you have to worry about your driving, but you have to worry about the other drivers. The goal is to get there and to be able to render care and help, uh, not cause an accident that we never arrive on the scene and then we have other issues to deal with. We've spent uh, a little over the past year putting connected smart devices at over 220 of our signalized intersections, 90 of our school zone flashers, 25 of our emergency vehicles, uh, 25 pedestrian crossings, and five of our go carry buses. Imagine smart signals that let trucks like this one get to the scene of emergencies a little faster by catching all the green lights. It is technology that is happening right now in Cary and it can even help keep you safer on the roads. When we have to go through a red light, we have to get there, make sure no traffic's coming, come to a complete stop, and then proceed through only when the motoring public allows for us to travel through because they're stopped. When we have the green light and everybody else has the red light, it just makes for a quicker uh, transition through the, through the intersection and it makes for a safer transition through the intersection. Everything comes to this center in Town Hall, giving engineers a live look at how things are flowing. The idea is to connect this data with an app on your phone. Railroad crossing active ahead. The legacy system we used was an infrared line of sight system. It relied on, on you being in, in close proximity to the sensor to be able to uh, change the lights. Other things impact that, such as um, fog, weather, trees, that kind of thing. Uh, with this new system, it is GPS. So it takes all those other barriers out of the way. We consider this a, a pilot program for us. Connected vehicle technology is burgeoning and on the cusp of, of what its potential is. And we're using this as an opportunity to, to pilot this, to be leaders uh, in this field so that other municipalities around us can take advantage of it and learn as well.